What is going on, everybody? Brent Abel here, GoldBallHunting.com. Another episode of the Gold Ball Hunting Podcast. I am Brent Maxwell Abel Jr. That dude over there, let's just go with JJ. Oh. Okay. I was going to go Jeffrey, David, Jacklitch. Yeah, going to match your three names there. So The 14th. J or right. JJ yeah. or Jackie. Well, or there's a whole slew of other things I've been called too, but we won't go into those. <laughs> By your doubles partners when when you miss another short overhead. Okay. Hey, who is that back there? Who is that back there? I see. Yes. Uh, that's, the, that's the Mrs. Abel. Uh, okay, babe. Um, yes, we are recording. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, listen, hang in there with us because we got part two of what we started with yesterday, which is complexity is the enemy of execution. So stay with us at the end of this uh, episode because uh, I think you get something really good out of it. So the big question is this. How are tennis players like us who never played on the tour, weren't incredible juniors, or maybe got a late start to the game, how do we consistently compete at our highest skill level without having to grind through endless hours of encore practice time and still be in the hunt for the victory match after match? That is the question, and Gold Ball Hunting gives you the answers by helping you eliminate your skill level range so that you build a strong foundation of confidence. My name is Jeff Jacklich, and along with Brent Abel, my partner, welcome to Gold Ball Hunting. All right, Jeffrey, my man, you've got, uh, we got to make this short because you got to get doubles and uh, over at the vintage. Yeah. With uh, with Nikki, with Mark Nicholson, having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Yesterday, we, we kind of dug into your story about uh, uh, complexity as the <clears throat> right. So what's uh, so what's your story on this? Yeah. What's the what's your story on this? That complexity is the enemy of execution. So well, this mine, the mind was all tied up between my ears primarily. You know? yeah, yeah. Big, yeah. Well, we talked about the four areas, right? There's there's technique, right. there's tactics, there's mental, there's physical. Um, maybe this for me could be a four part series because I think I've got one thing in every one of those areas. Um, well, for sure. I mean, you know, taking that into consideration, me, you know, getting over the, the mental hurdles for me yeah, right. kind of allowed me the access to then actually have clarity in those four areas, right. what, all those things. And so what is it that's blocking your ability to, to, to see the truth in all those four areas, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, look, uh, I, I, I think for me, it was just, uh, it was lack of self belief that I could actually play with these guys. And so, um, I kind of overcomplicated every one of the areas. I mean, I would say that the the mental part was the last area that I kind of worked on, but actually I was, I was really kind of, well, I mean, it should have been the first one. If I'm thinking, well, I'm not really believing in myself that much. Okay. Well then we got to work more on technique. Okay. We got to work more in tactics. Okay. We got to work more. Wait a minute. Um, idiot, yeah. Man. Why don't you start with that thing of limiting self beliefs, and and let's uh, and let's get that squared away first. And you might find out that after you take care of that, everything else was actually okay. Right. But, um, so I just dug in way too much on all the other stuff. I mean, I yeah. I thought I needed better technique to be able to hit more outright winners. I think I, I thought I needed uh, better strategies and tactics to, you know, come in behind everything. And, and you know, look, look, I mean, as I got older, certain volley on every point, really, Brenny, come on, man. I mean, uh, that's rough. Well, okay. Okay. That's right. I can't do it. So maybe if I go to the physical side and really start working hard, then I can still do what I want to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't, it just was bogged down. So, um, that was it for me. And I just, I think what, one of the things we talked about yesterday was kind of belief comes, the only way that you get belief, it, at least I think, is that you got to put yourself out there over and over and over again. And you got to get your nose bloodied and you can't get all, you know, mopey and, and, and all right. that stuff. And I mean, it's basically, it's just, you know, it's a classic thing. Well, you know, you're not failing. It's just feedback. Well, it, it, that's, that's true. It really is feedback if you want to look at it that way. I mean, Fed, I watched him yesterday, right? He, he, he beats Novak um, when I watched that match uh, yesterday. And he said they had a recording. No, no, actually, they did the post-match interview. And they talked about the heartbreaker at Wimbledon. 
where he had two match points and lost, what was it like 14, 12 in the fifth or something? Yeah. 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 It was the, yeah. And he just, they said, God, that must've been just crushing. And he said, eh, you know, it's just a, uh, it was an honor to be out there, you know, in the finals of Wimbledon against one of the great players ever, you know, Novak and, and, <laughs> right. uh, you right. know, it just didn't work out that day. And that's just the way tennis goes. And I think right. if we, if we try to overcomplicate by trying to, by trying to account for every possible scenario. Right. Um, you're just going to drive yourself nuts. And I think I was doing that. I mean, I think I was, well, I don't really believe I can hang with these guys. So I got to take care of the earth three areas and I got to really make sure that I got an answer for everything. Right. And, 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 and the answer was actually right here. And what I found was that if I just started going out there and playing more, you know, what happened is uh, uh, I just started believing more. And I started realizing that, wait a minute, I don't need to overcomplicate my stroke technique. I don't need to overcomplicate tactics and strategies and I don't need to overtrain. In fact, you know, I need to feel fresh out there. I need to feel good. <laughs> and that doesn't mean I, I get it. That's, that's an excuse to under train. Right. But it's, you got, you got to, you got to learn, you know, again, learn your, um, learn your capabilities, you know, when, when you do get in the gym and you're training on the court and all that, you've got to figure, you've got to pay attention to what your body's telling you, you know, and I think there are players that kind of don't do that. They, they assume that everything just stays the same as you age up and nothing could be farther from the truth, you know? And so if you're not in tune with what your body's trying to tell you that like, maybe you should back off a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, Mr. Things- Stowe, <laughs> Mr. Stowe was like, we would tell him, I would tell him about some of the stuff I was doing and he would go on, you don't need to do that. Just play more sets. Just go out there and compete right. and play more sets. And I'm going, well, don't I need to be like the fittest guy out there? He says, if you play enough sets, you'll be pretty doggone fit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, you, know. you will. There, there is that side of it, you know, and then, and so today in today's, you know, modern era, uh, it does, that can even get, overly complex you know um keep it simple you know i'm doing i'm keeping it very simple in my road to the wilson you know cardio my shoulder work first i'm getting out on the court more today i'm going to get a chance to play some good dubs um, that'll be my workout today right you know, we're driving we're driving to phoenix um so it, it's like it's really understanding your body i'm i'm very in tune with with you know the language my body speaks to me and i listen and and Okay, that's that's what we're doing today. That's all we're doing today. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So, this is a shorty, a shorty episode because I know that you got to scoot. But guys, again, would still love to hear from you as we asked you at, uh, at the end of yesterday's episode. You know what? What part of the game are you overcomplicating? That is either it, it's too much. You've got too much technique, or you got thoughts of of all these different possible tact i mean tactics and strategies it, it shouldn't it shouldn't look like john madden x's and o's and i'm going to swing around here and statue of liberty play and then you're going to that's right that's right you know? um so what areas of your game do you think that you're either overcomplicating so that when you go out there and play it's tough to execute uh simple simple stuff in terms of technique and and, and strategies but the other thing is maybe you're just thinking, well, if I, I, I can't go out there and play until I've got this one thing figured out. So you're overcomplicating, which means right. the original statement is complexity is the enemy of execution. Execution meaning you're not getting started. Right. Guys, get out there. Play a tournament. Do something. Play a match that actually means something. Post it somewhere. Make it public. Put it on the blackboard at your club whatever it is, the bulletin board, but make it count. So you start to figure out I'm okay in this area. I need a little work here. And you know what? I'm starting to settle down. I'm starting to believe a little bit more. So yeah, we're offering a uh, free private coaching call um, to anyone who wants some help, maybe kind of identifying where they're overcomplicating their game. The way to get on that call, go over to goldballhunting.com. Drop in the first name and email address, click the button below that, and you'll get access to our online calendar scheduler. You get to cherry pick a date and time that works best for you. Jeffrey, what do we want to find folks to do right now? 
can like us, share us, please subscribe, let us know what you think down below. I can stitch your rate and review. Goldballhunting.com. Spread the word. Bingo. Get out there today. Bam. Get out there today. Help someone else have a great day. Jeff, we'll do this again tomorrow. Can't wait.